iced coffee. It's so good. I put the red lipstick on today, the first time. I don't know how I feel about it. But anyway, it doesn't matter because in today's video, we're gonna talk about bikini. It's summer, it's really hot, and me and probably many of you are going to the beach a lot and spending time with friends and swimming. And there is this thing that we feel really unconfident in a bikini many times. And believe me, I've been there. I've been skinny, I've been overweight, I've been in the middle, I've been in all of the stages, so I really know how you may feel like. That's why today I decided to create a five tips that helps me and might help you to feel and look your best in bikini. So let's go. The first and the most important tip is to accept yourself. And this is so funny because when I was overweight, I look at my photos from the before when I was way skinnier and I was like, what was wrong with me? Like, I was looking the freaking best. But I wasn't feeling my best. And now I am overweight and I'm feeling really bad. But, well, yeah, maybe in the future when I will be skinny one day, I will feel great. This is not true. You need to feel good with yourself in that moment that you are right now, in that minute, in that second, because you will never look like that ever in your life and you will ever be in that moment and in this time. So just use it to the maximum and accept everything you maybe don't like. And if you want to improve something in your body, that's completely fine. Like it's your body, do whatever you want, but don't let yourself like sit at home and feel bad because you feel bad about your, I don't know, your belly or your, or your legs. So you're not gonna go out like, no, no, no. Just love yourself accept yourself it's hard it takes a lot of time but believe me you are able to do it the tip number two is confidence so it's really really similar to self-acceptance but if you will feel confident in your body and with who you are you will look the same and believe me no one cares how you look like like you going to the beach or whatever you are going to spend time with yourself or with your friends to read a book to swim and the same like many of other people do so no one are going to the beach just to check out on guys or check out on girls like i don't think this is like happening in the movies but it's not really happening in the real life and everyone is busy doing their own thing that's why you should be doing the same plus if you feel good with yourself even though like you maybe as i said have some things you don't feel super confident about but just try to be confident and try to rock your body and rock yourself with a class and with a confidence and even though your body might not be perfect but if you will be confident this is how you will look like for everyone else and for yourself and the tip number three is something more specific is getting tanned and I know that um, many of you might not be naturally tanned like I am. So a really good tip before you go to the beach is to get a spray tan or a home tan or you can also go to... This is how it calls in Polish. I think it's the same. Um, because when your um, skin is a little bit tan, it will just look better. Like all of this little like acne or backy or whatever you have on your on your skin will just look better and you will look so much like healthier and I don't know more beachy and it will also beachy like beach not you know um, yeah it's just really helpful like believe me like um, tan skin looks healthier and looks better and a little bit skinnier as well in a bikini. Tip number four is something super, super useful. Um, I see some of my friends using this technique and it's actually working. And this is a technique by little steps. So if you don't feel confident with, for example, like shorts or a crop top, that's okay. But maybe try to like walk around the house with this kind of clothes and then try to go to the shop and back. And then maybe try to go to three shops and back. And step by step, you will see the more you're wearing clothes like that, the better and more confident you are feeling. And this is the same with a bikini. It's okay, you might not feel like your best in a bikini, like straight away, but maybe you can go to your garden 
and then maybe invite your friend and with that time you will actually feel so much better and you will be ready to go to the beach and the last but I think the most important is to remember that this is not a bikini show or body show you go in there to create memories and this is the most important you don't want to miss out all of this fun and crazy memories that you will remember to the rest of your life simply because you were not feeling your best in the beginning or simply because your tights were a little bit too wide or this is just stupid and pointless this is your life and you create memories with people who you love and feel confident with and just focus on that like swimming is fun going to the beach is fun and it's okay if you don't feel your best in like bikini like with bra and anandis you can wear a one-piece bikini like you just need to do it believe me this is such a fun time especially um with your teen time or when you're on your study time when you have um like free summer this is the time that you create the most memories of your life i think i had so 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 many crazy and amazing memories and yes there were times that i was completely not feeling good in myself like i was feeling like hey i am freaking a little bit overweight and all of my friends are so skinny and i'm not feeling good but in the same time i would never stay home or not go with them simply because of how i felt like it will never happen i was trying to be confident and rock myself because in in the deep of my heart i knew my value and i know who i am and i also wanted to just have fun so this is all of my tips for you i hope you will find some of them useful um please let me know what do you think in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, of course. Bye!